What's up everybody? Hey, I just got on Kentucky Lake down here at Paris Landing and uh, first time on the water, kind of excited. My fishing partner Wade Wrecker is gonna be here in about an hour, so I'm gonna do a little moseying around on my own, but um, I'm gonna break this down into two videos. This is gonna be the pre-fish for the ACT American Crappie Trail Tournament located here on uh, Kentucky Lake coming out of Paris Landing. It's a really nice boat ramp, I can tell you that. My first impressions are a very nice boat ramp, very spacious. Uh, big boats, obviously, Kentucky Lake. Um, don't know what to expect. This is a uh, first time for me, literally first time this boat has been in this water. I've never been down here. Uh, so I'm really looking forward to it and learning and experiencing Kentucky Lake. So thanks for joining me. We're gonna do a lot of scouting these first couple days, uh, but we're definitely gonna be showing you a lot of fish catches. Thanks for joining. Here we go. Thanks for watching Three Pound Fishing partnered up with these fantastic companies. on Kentucky Lake. This one might be just a little shy, but we got some dandies in the boat. Here, let me turn that off for you real quick. That water's not bad. So all we're doing is um, side imaging, finding structure, marking it, mostly with side imaging off the hummingbird, and then going up and looking at it with live scope. Some, some that we're fishing, some that we're not. If we catch one or two fish, then we move on. Um, not really about catching fish today, although we're, uh, we're fishermen, so we do want to catch some fish. So we uh, we're uh, trying out the baits. So right now, what seems to be working is the orange head. Really doesn't matter what size and anything, anything with an orange head, basically. Although Wade right now is, well, it looks like Wade's got one. Um, Wade's doing with a pink hair jig right now. So with, this is kind of the fish that we've been catching. It's a pounder. Although these seem to be a little bit skinnier out here in the main lake. We've been in some coves and we've got some dandies in there. So that's about, that might be a, a little smaller, a little smaller, but that might be a 0.75 or something. So our, our guess right now, only being on the lake a couple hours, is you're gonna have to, I'm guessing 10 pounds. 10 pounds is probably gonna be the magic number. So check out the next episode because it'll be interesting to see how accurate that is. But I'm sure they'll be, I don't know. Yeah. Um, yeah. 10, 10, 11 pounds. Post spawn. Fish are skinny. Good size fish, just not, they're not going to weigh a lot. If you're in that 9, 10 pounds, you'd be running pretty decent. Yeah. Or, but but or the pack will all be right there together. Yeah, it could be a, a, a big pack, everybody within a pound. But right now, just straight jigs, not even messing with minnows. It doesn't appear that we need them, to be honest with you. All right, first time on Kentucky Lake. I do, just like I say in my videos, I went to points, I went to coves. I was looking for coves that had a lot of different elevation changes, just searching for fish using side imaging, then going up on live scope and checking it out. Folks, catching pound fish was not a problem. We did it all pre-fish and um, we knew we needed to find bigger fish. No doubt about it, if we wanted to compete for the ACT tournament coming up here in about two days. So we're walking you through that process during this pre-fish video. Pound fish are not gonna be a problem. In fact, I don't think we've caught anything less than 0.75. So it's gonna be a, it's a good, good tournament, fun tournament, good weather. That's what's, that's what's, Beautiful that's weather. exciting about it. So on these pre-fish days, we're allowed to fish till six o'clock, except for the day leading up to the tournament. So we need to take advantage of every minute to scan all of these coves to figure out which coves will be the spots that we'll actually take advantage of during the tournament time. There you go. There's Wade putting the hammer in it. Good fish, another pounder. Maybe a little shy of it, but that, maybe. I don't know, good sized fish. <laughs> we need to find 15 inches. We won't be starving, I can tell you that. <laughs> it's unbelievable, a lot, of, a lot of piles. This is a huge stake bed. That's probably about 12, 12 and a half, but still probably only weighs, I'm guessing, a quarter, three quarter pound maybe. Still. See that guy come up real slow? Uh -oh. Really slow. Just 
changing baits up. Not a big fish, but watched him work really slow and methodical to get to the bait. If I can get it off here. Big goofy. One eighth ounce head, monkey milk. So also on Kentucky Lake, obviously us finding out what baits are working is also critical. So first day for us was basically looking for the right colors and we thought that orange was just the hot ticket. Now we were trying everything under the sun to find out options as well. But orange head, basically any butter, uh, body uh, color would work. Um, but at the end of the day, we, we were not having a problem with the jig bite, didn't need minnows. Actually, didn't even play with the minnows at all. Didn't really picked up any. Um, Jinko baits was putting a hurt to these fish. I mean, we would just swim that sucker just over their heads, and those fish would react. Without a doubt, uh, the Jinko fishing uh, baits were incredible for us. So we weren't even thinking minnows. Jigs all day long, going from cove to cove, essentially on the south side of the bridge. Second day, um, a hot day for sure. Um, we are established that we don't like the north side of the bridge. We uh, didn't do very good over there. We caught two big fish. They were both 14 inches, but so we'll probably go over there to those two piles because they're relatively close. That'll probably be the only thing we do on the north side of the bridge. Right now, we're trying to complement our areas that we have on the south side with some additional stake beds, structures that we can be more efficient on tournament day. So that's the plan. So a special note on the day one pre-fish that we did have about three fish die because we try to keep seven in the live well just to see how they're behaving. And we noticed that we had three of them die, which was really concerning to us. We didn't know if we had a weird situation uh, but we were definitely going to keep an eye on that for day two. We also started off day two on the north side, did not have any luck for the first three hours. That's why you're not getting much footage there at all. We actually venture back down here to the south side, which is what you're seeing right now. Four good ones in, 14 inches. This is probably the smaller of the of them, but that's every bit of 13. All right, I didn't show that much today because, uh, well, we were working hard. We found a new cove. Um, we just got back to our place, so I figured I'd show you guys around the place that we're staying. We got this on VRBO. Um, here's a look of the front of the house there. Parking. I mean, you could literally probably park easily four boats here. Not a question, four boats. So, a lot of room. It's on VRBO. It's only a 15 minute drive to Paris Landing. Um, I'll give you a quick little walk through here. Uh, we fished all day today. We did really well. We really did. All, all right, as always, audio goes out. So, I'm going to do this kind of walk through doing a uh, voiceover. But here's your main area right here, your kitchen, your dining room. That's where I do my editing. They also provide uh, ice here, which is really nice. You do have to refill it, but at the end of the day, they provide it. Kitchen, living area, the door right there leads to the bedroom I was staying in. It actually has a total, I believe, four beds and a bathroom. So plenty of room for a lot of people. Um, but that's all my, my space, I guess, right for this week. And uh, very nice. And then um, I'm gonna walk you back through the living room again. TV, couch, plenty of space, good kitchen. Wade's room's back here in the back of the kitchen. He also has his own bathroom. So we enjoy it. We prefer to stay in uh, houses when we go to these tournaments just because uh, we don't have to worry about our, our gear, our boat, uh, hookups, all that stuff. So we always try to take full advantage of VRBO when we are on the road. So good place.
last day of pre-fish trying to get some of these decent fish to show uh, and try to keep them alive that's gonna be the key today first fish there you heard me say it keeping them alive is going to be key because on the second day of pre-fish we lost two more fish and we didn't like that one bit so this day we actually cool the water down do whatever we possibly can our focus is trying to keep these fish alive and um, it was very concerning at this point we needed a solution and we wanted to see if we could keep these fish alive for this shorter pre-fish day So day before the tournament, that's it. And uh, trying to put good seven fish, see if we can keep them alive. That's the key today. Uh, unfortunately, we're still fishing 18, 20 foot down. So I don't know how successful we will be, but we are cooling the water and we're just gonna see what happens. Uh, we might need an extra bubbler. Yes, we could do the oxygen tank thing. We just didn't think we would ever possibly need it. Water temperature here is 78 degrees. That truly should not be an issue. Um, never experienced it to be an issue in this boat. So, anyway, cool. <laughs> All right, so that's seven fish. That is, uh, Basically seven and a half pounds. Those are 13 inches, 13 and a half, all day long, pound fish. So kind of the intel is that we're gonna need about 10 to 11 pounds. So we have to find pound and a half fish. That is the key, pound and a half fish. Post spawn, they're skinny, gonna be tough. How long is that? So that fish weighed 0.88. It's a, and it will tell you how long it is. It's a white crappie. That's a 13 and a half. 13 and a half. That weighs 0.88. That is hilarious. I take 13 and a halfs all day long. Anywhere. 14s. 0.88. Good golly. The key is we found another spot. Give me the net! Give me the net! <laughs> Big fish here. That's probably not gonna make the cut. Ooh, a 1.1? You sure? Redo it again. Just lift it up and we'll... That weighs more than I thought. 1.01. Beautiful fish. That's probably a 12 and a half. So it weighed a little bit more than that 13 and a half. Got him. Holy crap, dude. <laughs> That's our first drum. This thing's a monster. Good night. Come on. 
That's going to end it for today, folks. We have a meeting today and then tonight around 2.30 and then uh, we'll see you in the morning. Ne next episode will be the tournament. Will be the tournament. So that'll be all in one video, day one and day two, I assume. Maybe that will change, but pre-fishing's over. It's time. It's game day. Thanks for watching another three-pound fishing episode sponsored by these great companies.